Hello everyone. Show uh, current status. Um, got everything back together. Got my Z axis back together and got my spindle metal taken care of. Uh, one thing I want to point out real quick. Well, since I had the Z axis all disassembled, what I did was I took the steel plate prior to mounting it to anything. I removed the lead screw nut from the back of the Z white plate. Um, and then uh, I took out the two middle bolts on both sides. And this one, I, the top one and the bottom one, I left solid because this was my datum that I set up to be square. And then with all that stuff removed, I was able to run the all thread through here as the tensioning device like I did here with the uh, Y-axis ones. Um, that allowed me then to just put the steel plate in, um, tighten up all the tension and all the bearings and tighten up the blocks, pull this block over, uh, get everything real uh, tight. Um, I got it into a position where it was nice and snug on all bearings in all directions, top to bottom. Uh, I was still able to pull it out and put it back in. And then uh, I went ahead and put all the bolts back together and tightened it all back up, put the plate back on the Z-axis, put the Z-axis back on. Everything's nice and snug now. And the uh, plate that I made up here works out pretty good. Um, two bolts to uh, or four bolts top and bottom hold it onto the aluminum extrusion um, what kind of make this nice is this will basically be a fixed mount to the plate and then if I need to adjust the spindle up and down I'll just undo these bolts and move the spindle up and down that way I don't have to constantly take my spindle and move it up and down in the holder if I want to make adjustments um, I might actually sketch that up um, send a CAD file off to uh, Aaron at uh, CNC router parts and see if he might want to consider it offering it uh, to other builders as an option uh, you know just a separate plate to mount this to then you can just slide right on uh, so you know it worked out pretty good um, spindle mount now doesn't collapse real well or hard on the spindle um, this threaded bolt really comes in handy here for spreading this apart and then it allows me to easily slide the spindle up and down take the tension off holds the spindle tighten down the socket eye cap screws um, and, and I must have gotten one of the uh, new improved spindle mounts uh, because I don't I know uh, a friend of mine is building this exact same machine in Switzerland and from the pictures that he's posted it doesn't show the uh, threaded uh, hole here um, if you've got one of these spindle mounts and you have this hole and you don't have a bolt, what you could temporarily do is the 5 16 bolts here are one inch long. It's just long enough to give you some spread to get this in and out. I actually went out and bought an inch and a half. So that's all taken care of for now. Right now what I'm working on is uh, figuring out where I'm going to put all my E-chains. I've got some uh, steel strapping material here with the holes in it, uh, both some flat and some angular ones. So I'm just kind of lining things up. Um, you do have some threads in this hole. You'll need a shorter bolt than this. I just got a bunch of washers in there right now to hold it in place. But it, it'll allow it to uh, lie fairly flat on here. I'll probably put another angle bracket there uh, to hold that in place. I'll cut that off in the back. For the back, uh, along the Y-axis, <clears throat> my E-chain, I'm going to put this board on. I've uh, cut off some here uh, angle bracket here that I'm going to use then to mount to the wood and then I'll mount it on the back of the y-axis so that this has a surface for the e-chain to write on um, the e-chain for the x-axis uh, at least for me um, the bottom of it I'll actually just uh, attach to the table and then I'll probably put a piece of angle bracket off of these two bolts here uh, outwards and that will allow me then to uh, attach the e-chain to it and I'll be able to cycle all my wires and so forth out this side. So that's the current status. Uh, basically the mechanical components of the machine are complete. Uh, working on my e-chain locations and when I get that all taken care of I'll give you a little video on what's next. Thanks for watching.